Roper. And I am Brandon Roper. And together we are still the Super Roper Brothers. It's good to see everybody back here again. We're about to cover a movie that is technically retro at this point, but it's recently retro. Like, and recently, I mean, like, you know, as certified ten brothers. years. <laughs> We felt we needed way out on the subject. Yeah, the topic. there's been a lot of stuff going on lately with this particular film, and we felt like we should at least do a review of it so that we could put some nonsense to bed because there's a lot of nonsense out there. A lot of people speaking for certain people, um, and I think that that needs to stop. So here we go. We're talking about the infamous. Yes. The infamous. 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 Yes, the classic film. I think. Uh, Tropic Thunder, starring Ben Stiller. Directed by Ben Stiller. Directed by Ben Stiller. Jack Black, uh, Jay Baruchel, uh, Brandon T. Jackson, the incomparable it Robert was. Downey Jr., Steve Coogan, it Tom was. Cruise, oh my goodness. Matthew McConaughey. Uh, like, I mean, there are so many people in this movie, so much good stuff, and it is one of, I think, the funniest movies ever made. Now, before we get into what's controversial about the movie, let's just start off by saying it is a movie about making a movie. If we can get that first out there. That's one of the things people seem to be lost about. People seem to think this movie is about Vietnam. This is not a Vietnam War movie. It's about a group of people trying to make a Vietnam War movie, which is as meta as it sounds, and it's on purpose because this whole movie is about making fun of Hollywood. That's what the movie's about. It's hey, about. Hey, you can't do that. I mean, that's what Ben Stiller did, and I think it almost got him blacklisted. But it does make fun of a lot of Hollywood tropes. If Ben Stiller wasn't Ben Stiller, it would have got him blacklisted. I mean, but hey, he's Ben Stiller, and I'm, I'm glad he made it because it needed to be made. And honestly, a lot of the stuff in there that's just like the jokes, and the, like a lot of that stuff is like, it's on the nose, but hey, it's, it, it, it's right where it needs to be. <laughs> I'm sorry, can we cut? <laughs> Jamie, can we cut? What is going on here? Hey, I'm about to jump out this, this helicopter like Wesley Snipes. I'm Slice. doing the scene right now. Wesley, I'm the scene is about emotionality. Where is it? Let's talk about the trailer. This is what lets you know that you're watching. Like, this is what makes this movie not controversial to me. When you see what each of the actors has done previously because it starts off with trailers from each one of these actors fictitious films yes and and, and trailers and whatnot so you got al pacino first of all alpa alpa dash chino Chino. greatest rap name i think in a movie in a long time so al pacino who's selling this energy drink called booty sweat al pacino's booty sweat yes that's right it happened Booty sweat. Yes. Booty sweat. Booty sweat. Yes. And. <laughs> you know what? I'm not even going to say what the bar is called. Yes. We know what the bars are called. <laughs> They're, they have their own name. You look look it up uh, in your own no time. Don't type that in. Don't type that in Google. Don't type in Google. Sir. I really, really mean it. You've got Jeff Portnoy, who is Jack Black's character, who basically is like the chubby guy in a fat suit playing multiple characters. That's his character. I has made a career out of, out of lowbrow humor. Yes, and that's kind of what his whole his whole thing is. And then you've got method actor <laughs> playing uh, a, a gay priest is played by Robert Andrew, a five-time Academy Award winner, Kirk Lazarus. He literally doesn't break character yeah. until after the DVD commentary. Yeah, if you because his character says he doesn't break character until after the DVD commentary. And I watched it with the commentary turned on to make sure, and I can confirm. Ain't no good motion picture. You sure? Oh, yeah. Yeah? For certain, man. Why are you still in character? Hmm? I know, but I don't have to tell you. You don't know. Man, I don't drop character till I've done a DVD commentary. Then you get to the opening of the film, which is helicopters in Vietnam. This this hits us close to home because our father literally was in Vietnam, Vietnam and he flew in helicopters. He was in the Air Mobile, like, and that was like, you know, so it, it, we have at least a little bit of connection to the actual war itself. But you watch that intro and it's just 
over the top. I mean, it's like the hottest battle in Vietnam. I mean, there's, a, there's at least five helicopters that go in, and like wow. at least three of them get shot down. And it's like, I mean, that's insane. Like, there's an insane battle in Vietnam. <laughs> but uh, when you watch the movie, they go in, they do all this stuff, and you get you get to see them as the characters in the movie. Now, one of these characters in the movie is the source of the controversy and the reason why we're doing this film review. <gasps> Robert Downey Jr. plays an African American, a black, a black, yeah, I know. But, he plays a black uh, officer. But he ain't. I know. He's not. He's not. He's a white actor playing a black actor playing a black sergeant. Now, see, I know people, like, lose their minds about this. They go, oh, it's blackface. Oh, that's disrespectful. Oh, it's this, that, and the other. First of all, I would just like to say the following thing. Is I've never met a black person who actually has a problem with this. Ever. So, if there is a, a few people out there who are trying to make this their thing, go find something to do. Go, go, just yeah. go find something to do. There are so many issues that plague African Americans that we can work on as a group of people. Yeah. But... This ain't one of them. This is just mess. Chill out. Hey, check it out. We get what this movie's trying to say. Like, and here's the thing. Nobody else can be offended for me. Yeah. Nobody needs to, be, needs to be offended for me. I forget. I've been black a long time. I've been black a long time. And I'm, I forget that Robert Downey Jr. isn't black during this movie. Yeah. All the time. I'm like, oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, that's... And not only that, not only is it just because he plays it well, this isn't mean-spirited. Nope. He's not doing it to make fun of black people. Nope. He's not doing it to take black people down. It's not dehumanizing or demeaning. He's actually and making I'm, fun of. And also, there's another black person in the movie saying everything we're saying. Like, everything that would be able to be challenged is challenged by Brandon T. Jackson in the movie. Like when he's like, oh, that's how we all talk. Oh, uh, crawlfish. Uh, yes. He really does take him to task about it because he thinks the actor's doing too much. But there's a reason why this is in the movie. And it's because, historically speaking, hmm. Hollywood will cast anybody to play any race as long as they're white. Uh, would the court admit evidence, expert evidence? Guilty. Now, if we could just be real about no, that. Hold on, a second. No, wait, 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 no, 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 you wait, wait, you wait a second. <laughs> I watched the greatest story ever told. Uh huh. And I saw Jeffrey Hunter with his blue eyes. No, yeah. that's that's Max von Sydow. Okay, oh, that's sorry, what I sorry, sorry, That's yeah. King of Kings. I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Another King of Kings. Is, this is Jeffrey sorry, Hunter. Yeah. And I both I know that both of those actors mm -hmm. were completely historically accurate. <laughs> not, not even close. Not even close. Nothing, nothing that those actors look like was a first century Judean. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's so anyway, sit down. all that's nonsense. He's making fun of Hollywood whitewashing. Ben Stiller's making fun of a number of different tropes yes. in Hollywood. The, the thing about it, like I said, once again, it's not mean-spirited. It's not him making fun of black people. It's not him doing it. It's more making fun of the fact that Hollywood would hire a method actor to play a black person before they would hire a black person to play a black person. But that wouldn't, uh, we would do that for martial arts movies because Avatar, The Last Airbender. Nope. Nope. The only racially diverse people in the movie are the bad guys. Uh -huh. Everybody else is white. And that is what I'm talking about. It's not because I don't, like, one well, of the show had a. Nope. Nope. Yeah, nope. Not at all. And what really drives me crazy about stuff like that is. One, I this does it shine a light on it, y'all. Shine a light on Hollywood not hiring the people of a certain race to play their certain characters because that is necessary to talk about. There are Asian actors who can play any role. There are, and I don't need to look like you in order to empathize with you. Absolutely. I don't need to like I I I'll, I'll cry at the Last Samurai for Ken Watanabe, and that dude is from an area of the world that I have literally no ancestry from. Don't care. It doesn't matter. Not the point. So, I, I do, I do think that this movie is trying to say something. Now, here's what else I will say also about just this movie and controversies like this in the first place. This is what I call cosmetic activism. 
This doesn't help black folk one bit. You picking this fight doesn't help black folk in any way, shape, or form. This is dumb. You, can we get what we ask for? Like, like uh, with all this stuff, and I'm being dead serious right now. With all this stuff that has happened, with all this, like, you know, all the, you know, ideas about police brutality and all this stuff, like, George Floyd would be just as dead if Robert Downey Jr. never played this role, if Aunt Jemima was still on the shelves, which he was when he got killed. All this stuff had happened. Okay? So, like, how about do the things that black folk ask for or try to help those things rather than coming after dumb stuff? And also, I want to take one more issue with this right now because this is about blackface. Community. Community, the TV show community that I love so much, Dan Harmon, the episode about Dungeons and Dragons. You can't even watch that on Netflix right now. Why can't you? Because a few do-gooder activists thought they were really helping the world by taking that episode off because the character named Chang plays a drow. A drow who's a dark elf, and dark elves live under the earth in Dungeons and Dragons. So he was wearing literally a white, he was wearing white hair and had his face painted like black, but he wasn't, he, it had nothing to do with being African American. That's dumb. Who was out here sitting around so offended by that they felt they had to call Netflix up to get rid of that episode? This is the type of stuff I'm talking about. That doesn't help us. That doesn't help us. That's dumb. And so, this is me addressing this controversy because this is really ticking me off. Like, it just does because this is silly. See, here's what I know. I know that some things are funny, some things aren't. Some things are need to be dealt with and addressed, and some things don't need to be addressed. When I believe Asia has a few martial artists around. Just a few. Just a few. There's a couple of martial artists running around there somewhere. Uh, maybe you should hire some of them to do uh, the movie roles. For example... Dragon Ball. Uh, the, the character of Dragon Ball, man. <laughs> uh, the character who plays, uh, the actor who plays Ujiro, and I'm so sorry that I cannot remember your name off the... Oh God, it's like Hiroyuki Sonata. I've been watching Sonata. That's his last name. I've been watching him since I was a child. You helped influence my martial arts. Shogun's style. Ninja. Yes, uh, Ninja Wars. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, Ninja Wars, back in 1977. I've been watching him since, since then. He is... Influential to my life. I saw an Asian man doing martial arts and he inspired me. Uh, uh, some of the other actors that I've uh, like watched over my years, I never saw those actors. I never watched the Goonies once and said, There's no black people in this movie. Yeah, I'm I, not going to watch it. Look, I wanted to be Data because he was awesome. It had nothing to do with what We all wanted to be Data. Quit lying. You only wanted to be Data or you wanted to be, uh, what's his name, Brand because he got the girl. Yeah, and Mikey was kind of. I mean, John Aston's character is just John every every kid in the eighties. Yeah, but like, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that I, there's a lot of characters that I I never saw them as the race that they were. I saw them as Luke Skywalker was never black. I mean, there was nobody black in Star Wars until what Empire Strikes Back, really. <laughs> until Vader's beautiful black visage was Sally. That was the black <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so what I'm trying to say is that. There are characters out there, and it does feel good to see characters that feel or that look like you on screen. Uh, it was I, it was wonderful to see everybody wanting to be T'Challa. Yeah, that's that's another. Thing. I saw everybody wanting to be T'Challa for years, and yeah. that felt good because I've never seen that before as a black man. But here's what I don't need: I don't need something completely unrelated being barred or banned because you got offended. I might get offense. That offense? No, not in the slightest. In conclusion, there are so many examples of whitewashing in Hollywood that are, you know, horrifying. This is not one of them. In fact, this is lampooning it, which makes it the opposite. Okay? This movie is raising attention of a problem. So, don't make this your issue. Don't make this the thing you fight for. What up, y'all? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> We're still in here. <laughs> We've, been <laughs> We've been at this for longer than what we've been talking about. <laughs> Alright. That's, that's NSFW, as they say, so.
camera just swung off the table. Okay, we'll, we'll edit that. Okay. Not that far. Yeah. There you go. Okay. And we're back. It's still swinging.